Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on proof. There's going to be a few different videos on this topic since it's quite a large topic and we'll start in this video looking at some of the more basic proof skills. The first of which is disprove by counterexample. So here Hernan claims if you square a number and add one the result is a prime number. Find a counterexample to prove her statement wrong. Well let's just say that any number n, uh, let's say n is 1. So whenever you have a proof by counter or disproof by counterexample, you should always start by looking for the most straightforward examples. The chances are you'll run into a counterexample quite quickly. So for a number n, let's say that this number n is one. Uh, when we square it, one squared, and then add one, that's just going to be one plus one, which equals two. So is this a prime number? Yes, it is. So we'll move on to the next example. If n equals two. We have 2 squared plus 1, that's going to give us 4 plus 1, uh, which is equal to 5. Is 5 a prime number? Uh, well, what are 5's factors? There's only 1 and itself, so we move on. So if n equals 3 this time, we have 3 squared plus 1, that gives us 9 plus 1, which is equal to 10. Now, what are the factors of 10? Well, we have 1, 10, then we also have 2 and 5, so 10 is not a prime number. Uh, so therefore this is a counterexample to disprove her statement. So the next type of proof that we'll look at is algebraic equivalent. So uh, here we've got an expression where we've got two sides and we have to show that they're equal to one another or equivalent to one another. So that's what this sign in the middle is. It's just uh, an equivalent sign but you can treat it the same as an equal sign. So let's rewrite the expression. We have 3 lots of n plus 3 n minus 1 minus 3 lots of 1 minus n and we want to show that that is equivalent to 3n minus 3 times n plus 4. Uh, so we'll start by expanding some brackets here but we'll ignore the 3 on the outside first of all. So we're going to use the FOIL method to expand this set of double brackets first of all which is going to give us n squared and then minus n so that's n times n and n times minus 1. Then we do 3 times n which gives us plus 3n and 3 times minus 1 which gives us minus 3. Now we're subtracting uh, 3 because that's 3 times 1 uh, and then we've got minus 3 times minus n which gives us plus 3n uh, and we've got to show that that's equivalent to 3n minus 3 times n plus 4 so again we're going to expand these brackets so 3n times n gives us 3n squared 3n times plus 4 gives us plus 12n minus 3 times n it gives us minus 3n and minus 3 times plus 4 gives us minus 12. So here, uh, let's just simplify this line a bit. So we've got 3 lots of n squared minus n plus 3n simplifies to plus 2n. And then we've got minus 3. And then we've got minus 3 again on the outside at plus 3n. And that's equivalent to 3n squared plus now 12n minus 3n is 9n. And we've got the minus 12 on the end. So this is really just a case of uh, doing some simple expansions and collecting like terms. The next expansion we'll do is multiplying throughout this bracket by 3. So we get 3n squared plus 6n minus 9. And then we've still got the minus 3 and the plus 3n here. So let's just rewrite the right hand side for completion. Now we just need to collect like terms on this left hand side. So we've got 3n squared. Now the plus 6n and the plus 3n simplifies to plus 9n. The minus 9 and the minus 3 simplifies to minus 12, uh, so therefore this is equal to 3n squared plus 9n minus 12. So we've shown that the two sides are equal. Uh, so this is what you have to do when you're faced with an algebraic equivalent expression. If you want to try and practice some proof exam style questions, you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform. And if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at. There's a variety of different question types in there as well and all of which you'll receive instant feedback on. So it's a good way of keeping track of your progress, finding out what you can do to improve uh, for your actual exam. So if this is something you're interested in, then you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.